Good morning. <coughs> oh. Good morning, Corona creeps. This is coming at you from day 10. This is day 10 of um, isolation at home. Creepy. <coughs> It's starting to get in on me a little bit, especially because uh, the most recent government advice is that I do this for 12 weeks. So 12 weeks from the day they announced that is the 8th of June. When you, when you think about it, it kind of, you know, it does that thing where, where you start thinking about the world and how big the world is and how small the world is and how big the universe is and how small you are and then... And your head just goes. So, so you just went downstairs to get a delivery. This <clears throat> tight chest looks like I might be here for a long time. And it's kind of that in between phase where I can look. Obviously, things are bad, but it hasn't hit peak yet. So, like, the schools are still open, things are still running as usual. Which I think is weird. I feel like they should stop. <sighs> I think they should stop the tubes because that's just like, that's literally just a big underground tunnel full of germs and it's not good for anyone. Yesterday was a really bad day, day nine, really bad. I just c couldn't, I was just in a funk and I couldn't get out of it. And like on paper, I'm really organised, uh, plan out my day and all that kind of stuff. But yesterday was just a really bad day and like I recognised that it was a bad day and we just, I went to bed early. We just said, okay, let's cancel today and start again tomorrow. Starting again today. But then my phone died overnight so my alarm didn't go off. So I slept in. So behind on my schedule, ooh, it's just a bit scary. And um, like being in a different country than all of your family is a bit weird. And... I don't know, like I can't go home because all of my healthcare is here. I won't have access to any of that at home anymore. And if I were to get sick, I, I would prefer to be here because the hospitals are better and, and they've got more resources. And it's just weird because I don't know when I'm going to see my family again. And Carl doesn't know. Carl hasn't seen his family for longer. He hasn't seen his family since Christmas. And he probably won't see them now until September, October. And that's, like, that's just really tough. And, like, our little our little baby niece is going to be so much bigger and so much more grown up. And just everything is just a bit weird. I haven't seen my brothers for ages. And I think I'm just, I feel a little bit, stuck still obviously I'm stuck but like you know that kind of just in limbo I hate not not knowing I hate about it's one of my things of my anxiety and I hate I always hate not knowing what's going to happen not having a plan even just day by day let alone week by week and month by month uncertainty fucks me up and I know I'm not unique in that regard but it fucks me up and I yeah and I'm still taking my my antidepressant and, and anti-anxiety meds um, I just feel like maybe they're not cutting the mustard right now all you can do is try I think it's probably a lack of human interaction as well which I never thought would affect me because I love staying in I love staying at home I I love when plans get cancelled and and you just have to stay in, in your pyjamas and watch Netflix and eat food. That's honestly dream day. But now that I have to, I don't want to. And and the lack of human interaction is weird. I know like you can you can text people and stuff, but it's not the same. It's not the same as seeing another person's face when you're talking to them and just that. Mm. I mean, I'm lucky that I have Carl, I know that, but, yeah, so, that's day 10 for you, and I wish I had a more positive, <laughs> a more positive uh, video to come at you with, 
I tried to make a 30 day turn update. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Always go up, 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 always with skincare. You don't have to fight gravity. Keep it tight. Not that I need to worry about keeping this side tight, it doesn't fucking move. <gasps> Beat the shit out of your face. Good your cheekbones. Clean up abs as well. End of this 12 weeks. You wait. And this little roly guy is from Revolution. Um, cause you, can, you can get really expensive ones, but this one is from Revolution and it was definitely, definitely in around the £10 mark, I think, or less. And they've got, oh, oh shit. Fuck. What have I done? You can wear it as an earring. There we go. Uh, I think they've, they've got a three for two on everything at the minute, so you can get this. Get some other shit as well, if you want. Now what? Boy's gone out to collect the keyboards, so I can't even annoy him. Usually, at this point in the quarantine day, I, um, I would do my best sneaking and sneak into the kitchen, sitting room to annoy Carl for a few minutes. Which I'm sure he really appreciates when he's trying to work. Uh, yeah, I'd sneak in and poke him or make him pay attention to me for a few minutes. He loves working from home. I try not to eat all the food, like all the food. And I think, you now this, this few days is particular. Oh, that's why I'm crying. I've got my period. Wow. Oh, that makes so much sense. Do you know what? That actually makes me feel a lot better about feeling this way because I know why I'm feeling this way. Heck. I'm not a little bitch. I've just got my period. And that's why I was crying. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to have some porridge, I'm going to do a core workout, and I'm going to do a Pilates class, and then see where the day takes me. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Can you pay attention to me, please? Excuse me. Excuse me. You're pretty. Mm. Wow. Ooh. You got nice ears. Thanks. <laughs> what you doing? I'm making lunch. What you doing? <laughs> um, I forgot that I was tending my eyebrows, and I looked in the mirror. Do you remember though when I was like this were a thing? Like people would, this was acceptable. I feel for the people who had them, they look like they're superimposed on. I feel for the people who had them tattooed like this and are forever more stuck in Liverpool 2010. Anyway, what? can I spend 50 pounds on candles? Yeah. I can? Yes, we're getting loads of candles for that. Are we? Yeah. Okay. I love you. Love you. So help me contact the dead. What candles are they? Good morning and welcome to day 11 in the 
caravan of love. Um, I have been informed <coughs> that I need to stop touching my face because apparently in the last video, my hands are super glued to my face. But it's a really hard habit to get out of and I do it as, I think it's like, I'm, I'm used to doing it since my facial paralysis stuff kicked off. It's kind of a, like a security blanket thing. Like when I'm talking to people, I always have my hand on this side of my face, on the frozen side of my face, so that all you can see is the normal side of my face that moves like a normal person. And you don't notice so much that my, this side of the face is paralyzed. So it wasn't, it wasn't a conscious thing, but um, yeah, I need to try and get out of that habit. But today I'm rolling this in to a quarantine makeup. Um, because why the hell not? And if you watch some of my previous videos, you will see that a long time ago, I did a competition for some Charlotte Tilbury makeup and I have a winner and I will put her name here. And if she could please contact me, I will post her out her beautiful makeup. So let's go. You need to look good for the inside of your fridge, which sees you at least three times an hour, and the inside of your cupboards. It's about tricking, tricking that coronavirus into thinking that you're healthy AF. And I know I did a big video before on tricking people into thinking that I'm healthy. So let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna start with just something, just something a bit glowy. So I'm going with my flawless filter. What? I've got to put it on the back of my hand. Um, Hollywood Flawless Filter, Charlotte Tilbury. Trick that healthy look. Do not virus me, I am so healthy. Skipping foundation because you don't want too many base products. You'll see why I'm going for no foundation when I get to the last step. And it will all make sense then. So, concealer. Magic Away Concealer, shade three. The coronavirus doesn't think that you're a fatigued bitch. I'll stay away. No, I haven't been blowing my nose, what? No, absolutely not. My bags, things the past. Now, paint on some more health with cream bronzer. So Corona's gonna stop and be like, oh, you that vitamin D? You got that vitamin C? You look like you are. Okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna try with you. It's okay. Carry on. Ooh, my immunity gummies. Carl got me, got me these and he was nuts if I don't, if I don't take them. Got to boost that immune system somehow. They're gummies. Some green blush. Just a little bit. Just a little, just a little flush. A flush of blush. Healthy, healthy, healthy. And now I'm gonna powder certain areas. Certain areas that we always powder, so under the eyes we don't get any creasing. I don't get any creasing under this eye anyway because of the stuff. Chin. And very important around the mouth. I'm gonna use a little bit of my Fix Plus Gold Light. And add a glow. Like a <coughs> respiratory problems. Don't come for me. I'm gonna be working out in this makeup, so we want it to. If the virus sees that you have thick, full, healthy eyebrows, it will be confused and it will leave. Hey, boy. Hey. Boy! Boy! Pay attention to me. I'm on call. Oh. Why are you doing your makeup again? Ah. Very good speak. Thanks. Ah. I love him. I love spying on my neighbours. They're all home. Excellent. Gel them up so they can last through an apocalypse. Next, I am going to just pop a little bit of 
bronzer on my eyes. Just kind of through the crease, give it a little bit more definition. Just so you look awake and not ill. I'm trying to even up my eyes so this virus doesn't notice that I have underlying health conditions. Excellent work, excellent work. Now, see this is where I need to stop myself or I'll end up with like a full glitter cut crease. Ta-da! Now, we want people to focus on the eyes as well. You, you'll see at the end. What mess? Hey, and I, I put up a video of me singing, which I feel like was really brave of me because after my face thing happened, I pretty much completely stopped singing and I can't actually stand to look at myself uh, when I am singing, but I thought that um, video was, was too funny not to, not to sing. You ever just, you know, going about your day normally and then suddenly your head Somebody come get her, she's dancing like a stripper. Hey, somebody come get her. No, just me? Okay. Now I'm using Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. I like the brush on this. The ads looked amazing, the picture looked amazing. I don't know. Mascara is mascara, really. What do you think? Not too bad. Not too bad. Now I'm going to pop a little bit more bronzer on, just a powder bronzer. And I'm not using like an ashy like contour. We don't want to look chiseled and gaunt. Then the coronavirus is going to think we're weak. And it's going to go for us. We want, want to look like we have a plump face, a healthy face. She enjoys some cakes kind of face. She's got strong lungs kind of face. Not gonna fuck with her kind of face. Now for the lip. I'm gonna keep it quite simple. So I'm gonna go all over with Pillow Talk Liner. Fab. And that's all we're going to do on the lips now. Hold on for the finishing, finishing, finishing touch. I will be right back. Okay. Nothing glossy on the lips. If you're going to do anything, do something matte. We're just doing a liner all over. And then the reason we put extra powder here and a bit of fixing spray because our finishing touch is this uh, so you can see the only thing of importance here is really the eyelashes and the eyebrows but we look healthy I feel like that virus would avoid us if it saw us in the street also because I look terrifying <laughs> seeing in motion I look a bit like a duck Okay, but I'm not going outside right now. Oh, heck's sake. And you can wear it as an earring. Because, because there's no foundation, it's not going to do big, like, gaffy lines.